Hello and welcome. Right, I've got a lovely little project today. And it's using a candy cane Christmas to you. My uh, nephew's wife went to the range and bought me this. And it is absolutely gorgeous. What can you say? Of course, show you because I've, I've used them all here. There's that one, which I think is fab. It's an advent calendar. And it's got like 1 to 25. And you cut them out and you can use them as your advent. I just love the colours as well. More colours. It's got me down to a D now. So that's it from the range. Right then. So I'm going to be doing a little photo book album. Pull out. Okay. But it's really easy. Really quick. I think it is anyway. I've cut all my pages down to size and everything. So it's just gluing really. And telling you the measurements. So it won't be that long. Hopefully. Right. So first of all. I've picked this one as my cover. And can you see the glitter candy canes? It's got glitter in it. So this is 12 by 8. So that's your front cover. 12 by 8 and I'm going to score at 5 and a half and 6 and a half. So that's going to be your spine. I did um and ah about using grey board or cardboard. But I thought, you know what, we don't need to. It's going to be thick enough. And it's, you know, instead of all doing all that, it's going to be simple. So that's the cover. Okay. Now, we're going to be layering this up. So, that's going to make it stronger. So, you need, what I've done is, I've cut them like this. It's by eight again. So I'm laying that one up. So it's just under eight, I think it is. I'm gone. No, it's eight, right? So what I've done is eight by five and a half, two of them, and three quarters by eight. But I'll cut them like that so it can go in like that. But you can really cover this up anyway, so you know, you ain't really got to do it. So that is five and a half by eight. You need two of them and you need three quarters, I think it is. Now seven eighths. Seven eighths by eight. And then all we're gonna do is stick them on there. Like so, okay. Still got some of the glue at the top of the paper. I'll pause you while I do it. Right. So, I've just stuck them all there in. Like that. And that's going to be your cover. So, that's the little cover book for it. Okay, so we'll put that there. Right, we'll bring this back in now. We're going to need... Let's see... Five, don't need to be double sided, but you'll need five, ten and a quarter by seven and a half. So that's ten and a quarter by seven and a half, and you're going to need to cut, um, score them at five and five and a quarter. So you're going to need five of them. So that's mine. One, two, three, four, five. I've cracked that one a bit. I've been a bit heavy handed on the scoring. Right. Okay, so they're mine. You get some idea of the paper pad there. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Right then. What I'm going to do now is move this. We don't need that no more. Now what we're going to do is, right, what we're going to do is, stick them there, aren't we? Okay, so I'm going to need that one like that, no, like that, right. So I've got, you've got this little quarter of an inch spine, so I'm going to fold it back that way. 
and then that little spoon there I'm going to just burnish that one again like that all right make sure it's right way up yeah that's cute then you've got your little spoon there okay then we're going to glue where's the last next one so i'm going to go to this one next like so so we're going to glue them two together so that's going to come out like that okay i think anyway oh let me just double check okay and then that one is going to be there yeah okay so i'm going to glue that so we've got a spine on each side I've really caught cock up because I've really got no more paper. Okay, I'll just do a few of them here. Just so you get the gist of it. So that's that. That's the spine there. Hang on. That's the spine there. And then you've got the spine there, so you're going to stick that onto that one. Okay. Okay. I just wanted to come up with something that it's easy. Nothing too faffing about. Okay. And then I've done that wrong anyway. Oh and I like. So that's like that, that's like that. Shouldn't be like that. Let's pause it. Right, bear with me. Now, I've glued them two wrong, so I've had to do another two sheets. These are the only two sheets I've got left now. Right, so fold them inside out, all of them. Your best bet, then you don't get confused, I think. Right, so that bottom bit is going to be stuck into this. Like that. Okay. And then, I've got, I think I'm going to do that first. So I'm going to stick this in. And then I, I might not get confused so much. So I'll just, it is worth it, honestly. I'm just making it really complicated now because I've cocked up. But, you know, because I'm on film and I'm washing. So I'm going to centre that in the middle. There. Okay. So, we've got the, uh, don't forget, you don't need, you don't need double-sided. Just make sure you get all the glue off the top of the paper. Right, okay. So, then you've got that spine there, so gently put, pick that up. So, when you put the other one down, don't get pressed so hard. So, you're going to be like this. Hang on. Okay, what am I doing? Why do I get in? So that's out. And then, yeah. And then. 
thin, that's there. So it's going to come in like that. That's it, right. Oh, I'm confusing myself here. Yeah, I mean, it's obvious. Sorry. Right, so I'm going to put this one on. Now, which one am I going to put on next? Yeah, I'll put this one on next. So I'm just going to gently, don't get your spine. Don't be squishing your spines. That's all I'm worried about. I'm going to put that one on there. Straight flat to it. Okay. Right, and then oh. <laughs> I'm doing wrong again. What am I doing? Oh, it's the other way. Oh, it's that way. So the spines on the other side. Right. Okay. I was nearly gonna call it a day then. So yeah, that's it. I'm just waiting, walking in flat so I can flatten it. <laughs> right, start again. Right, so we've got that piece there. Right, that's your first piece with the spine here. You're going to put this piece on with the spine there. Okay, and then you're going to do the same again with the spine. That side there. So you're alternating the spines, okay. Oh, I will hurt ya. I had this much trouble when I done the busting. I'll go show you because I'm ready for somebody. It probably would have been easy just to show you that one. <laughs> right, then the spine's on that side, so I want the spine on this side. I need the paper upright. So that's going to go there. Again. Make sure you level it all up. If you use that cahal glue, you've got time to. Okay, right then. That's the first one with the spine. Yeah. <laughs> That's the first one with the spine. Second one with the spine there, and there's going to be the third one. And then we're going to put which one are we going to put on next? We're going to put this one on next. So the spine is going to be that way. The spine's on that one, so I'm going to stick that one on that side, okay? I can't believe I've cocked up. I've just made it sound more com oh, I I complicated. It confused you. So, put that on there. Okay. Right then. Let's get in there now and get in there. Okay. So it's a pull out one. Now the last one, now the spine's got to be on this side, so we want it like that, okay? So we need the glue on this side. And then again, just crying. Not flatten it, but as best you can. Yeah. 
Good day. Right. Okay. So there you've got it. Right. So. Okay. And there's the end. And then you've got that there. And then I'm just going to fit one on there. Which is going to be five. Five by seven and a half. Five by seven and a half. I'm going to put that one on there to cover that bit up. Okay, we're nearly done. I haven't put I have put no, no opening on or anything on it because I like it as a little book. So I have put a closure or anything on. I've just done it like you know a little um, photo album that you buy. Right then. I'll just get that one on. As level as you can, then open it up so you can flatten it. I mean, this is so thick, it's 230 GSM. Right, okay, so there it is. That's my front cover, that's my pull out, like that. I like that, sorry. And then all you're gonna do is right now I've made me I've made me a little um I'm gonna do it that way a little envelope so if I want to put anything in there I'll put a velcro dot on it and I've done it I think I've done it for card four or six let me just say I have done four by six, so the paper size is eight and three eighths, and the punch is three and a half. That's me to do that there, this touch down now. So I'm going to glue that bit in as well, right now. And I'll just use a velcro dot because you can just put a receipt or memorabilia or tickets or whatever you want to put in. I just thought it'd be nice just to keep. I am going to put a date on it because. It might be another year that you want, a year gone that you want to record it like in it. So we are going to put a date in it. I just think it's so cute to put a few pictures in. I think it holds 22, pi 22 pictures. Could be that. So there we are. Okay, now you can, if you want, do your little slices down there that's entirely up to you okay so that's the outside of it how quick was that really till i cocked up <laughs> now i'm just going to put you on pause and i'll show you what i'm going to do next right then i'm just dying cut die cutting these out i think it's 22 you need and it's just a rectangle, let me just tell you the measurement. And you can get fit two to each page. That's like four and a half by two and three quarters. So I've just die cut, well, I've just die cut three at the minute. You need 22. Then I've got my little camera again. I love this. I've got that from eBay. And then I'm just going to stamp that. And then stamp it on there. Just to say... I can put a belt on it. And that one. Because I know it's obvious to us what I'm doing, but to people who don't craft, they might think, oh, what I've got to do. Right, but as soon as I see the camera, they'll know it's a photo album kind of thing. Okay, so I've got them there. Now, all I'm going to do now is start. Don't want to smudge them. I'm going to start there and I'm going to start. I could slant them like this. So I'm just going to stick them on and then two to each page. I'm going to do that now, okay? So bear with me. Well, you are going to, I'll pause you and then I'll be back. Oh, sorry. Wrong thing. 
I've picked that out the paper pad. Dreaming of a White Christmas. I was always dreaming of a White Christmas. I've backed it onto gold. And that's going to go there. Like so. So I'm going to stick that on. I've got some of my gold poinsettias I've made. As well. Okay. Have I showed you inside? I think I have, not I? So that's going to go on there. Let's get this the inside. Oh yeah, there. Oh god, oh, I've done more I have done there. Okay, now then. Now that's gonna take a bit of because it's glitter underneath, so that's gonna take a bit of gl glue in, so I'm just gonna hold that. Now what I will show you what I have had. I've had these adhesive glitter flower uh, pieces, pound. So you've got the red. You got the hot pink, silver, and like a goldy yellowy. So you got them. So I've just cut me some uh, little candy canes and back to mine to gold. But you know the trouble is with foam. When you run it through the dye machine, it stretches. Can you see that? So it stretches all the way down there. So what I'm going to do is now we're ready though. So I'm just going to put them together like that and oid them underneath the flowers. Right, I've got me a little, I don't know if you remember this, but I've done some little, uh, kind of like ribbon bowers and I put a little brad in. So I'm going to use one of them. I love that colour, it's absolutely gorgeous colour. I if it shows on there. Then my flowers, right then, that I stick in. That might take a bit to stick. Sorry. Let's just shut that up again. Right. Now then. I've got my flowers, I've got my candy canes. Now what I'm going to do with my candy canes, I'm going to put these together like, hmm, like that. Then I'm going to get my poker tool and let me just pause ya. Right, that's it. Bought that off eBay as well. Can make it into a little shake, can I? I don't think I'm that brave. Anyway, I'm putting them two together. Like that. Like that, I'm going to put pierce an hole through that. Open my uh, brad back up. And then come together and push that in. There. Just so we've got a little bit of, and then I'm going to somehow, oh, I don't really know where, so we going to somehow put, somehow put them there, and put the flowers on top of them. There, so I'll put them there. Yeah, it's going to take a while to glue this is. That's great working on my shed. So I've got marketing. I've got a camera on. <laughs> so I'm going to put them just under there so you can read the writing. Okay. And then these will need... I'm just going to pause you because these will take a long time to stick. Right, then I've done it. That's how I've decorated it. Put them, it's candy canes in here, look. And on. Right then, all done then. Sorry about that. Then when my flowers are made out of gold, they need a bit more sticking on. That's my little brad. Uh, I've just put them two together, put that on. That's off the uh, pad. Now I'll just give you a quick look.
that's the uh, envelope I did. We got that two, four, six, eight, ten. 12, 14, 16, 18, 18, no, that's 20, I'm sure there is, hang on, let me just check, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, right, I don't think I opened it up, so there we have, pull out, little photo album book, I hope you've enjoyed that, I really enjoyed that, I think, you know, I'm going to whisk through my third one, because that's the second one I've done, I know I had difficulty gluing it, but you always do when you're on camera. I always tend to cock up. Anyway, right. Thanks ever so much for watching and take care and see you soon. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot. Bye.